Hi, welcome again to our channel. Today we will continue our video series about basic design for 3D printing using Design Spark Mechanical. And today's topic will be making threads. There will be two methods that we will use. The first one is the cutting method, and the second one is the adding method. So now please open your Design Spark Mechanical software, and we will start by clicking File, New, Design. Okay. First, we will make a cylinder with 20 mm diameter and 50 mm height. So click this one, circle, and then make a circle with 20 mm diameter, and then go to 3D mode, then pull by 50 millimeters. Okay, click home. Yes. Next, click select. Next, we click the, the axis, and then click this one, the section mode. Okay, and then click this one, the below left, here's the viewing cube to make easier to view the section mode. Then zoom a little. So we will first, we will do the cutting method. In order to do that, we will make the cutting surface. So first, sorry, let me rename this file to make easier uh, to understand. Cut method. Okay, so we will make the cutting surface, click here, the line, okay, and then click, we will make the uh, cutting triangle by 2 millimeters, 60 degrees, okay, so this will be the cutting uh, shape, but we will add a rectangle to make the cutting more successful, meaning that we will add here, one millimeter, two millimeter high, and one millimeter here. Then click select. We will delete this one. Okay, so now we have these uh, five lines, and we click the 3D mode. It will become a shape that we will use to cut the cylinder. So now, in order to cut the cylinder, we click this one, the uh, cutting shape. Okay and then we click this one pull then click this one the revolve icon and then click this axis okay and then click this revolve helix and then click this cut because we want to cut the cylinder so here is the height pitch and taper angle so in this case we will use the pitch two millimeters because uh, the the first triangle shape or the cutting shape is two millimeters width. Uh, you can define by yourself, no problem. And then from this, we can type in the height of the cutting, or we can click here and drag as far as we want. So in this case, I will drag and then type in 40 millimeters. Okay, done. Now I will click select and home so that's all this will be the uh, thread that we make by cutting method now we will make the second one using the adding method so first let's make the second cylinder I will copy from this shape copy control C and then control V let's move by let's say 40 millimeters and then click uh, pull okay and then put 50 millimeters length okay so for the second solid object I will rename as add method yes okay now we will add thread to this uh, cylinder but first let me hide the first cylinder from the structure view okay Okay, to add thread, the method will be similar with the cutting method, but in this case, the shape of the triangle will be different. So I will click here and then click uh, the section mode. Okay, now we can view the section mode, and then we will add this one. We will make a triangle here. So I want to add the thread from here by millimeters and then 60 degrees two millimeters okay like this 
and again we need to add a rectangle here to make sure that the uh, full add method succeed or goes smoothly like this and then we click here select so we have five lines shaping as the adding for thread now we need to hide this one first Okay, this is still five lines not yet as a surface click this one okay now five lines clear as the as the adding for thread and then click this one the 3d mode okay now we have this shape let's let's bring again the uh, cylinder okay so now we will add this thread to the cylinder how to do that first we click pull and then we already select this one so next we click this one the revolve icon and then click this axis okay and then click this revolve helix and then we can click this one the add method and then click here and drag or just input the height that you want in this case i will click here and drag so i will maybe because if you see that in the height column it shows negative value so i will just type in minus 40 okay now i will click home that's it so this is for the adding method to make thread you can also smooth out the result by maybe add some chamfer here Or radius and so on depend on the needs okay done congratulations now you can make and design your own threads using design spark mechanical anyway if you have anything to say just put in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.